Question three deals with the normal curve. Suppose the number of minutes a customer is put on hold at a particular software company's technical support center is approximately normally distributed with a mean of 4.9 and a standard deviation of 1.4. Now this is an important part of the question because we've told you it's already normal with a mean and standard deviation. At this point, I would start drawing my normal curve and put it in context of the problem and with z-scores. This will help you solve many of the parts to come. Betty called the call center and was on hold for 7.5 minutes. The first question has us calculate the z-score for Betty's hold time. Now to calculate a z-score, we need to know that a z-score is merely how many standard deviations an observation is above or below the mean. So let's go ahead and do the formula for the z-score. We have observation, which is 7.5, minus mean, which is 4.9, over standard deviation, which is 1.4. This solves out to 1.86. So Betty was 1.86 standard deviations above the mean. This is actually question number two. Question number two simply wants you to interpret your z-score. And as we stated, a z-score is just how many standard deviations an observation is above or below the mean. So the answer is, once again, Betty was 1.86 standard deviations above the mean. Now, a lot of people wonder how on the test you might get asked these questions without using the David M. Lane applet or having a z-table. And this is a great example of how we can test you. We have another caller here, David. And David had a z-score of negative 0.55. And this is where drawing it out comes in a lot of use. So go ahead and draw a normal curve for yourself right here. Take a moment, and you'll see one on the screen in a second. You can pause the video. Now go ahead and mark where David would be at at negative 0.55. Now you'll notice that David's z-score is between 0 and negative 1. The question asks, the percent of customers that wait longer than David is about what percent? So when we see that David is at negative 0.55, we can try to figure out what that area is shaded above that mark. Think about this for a moment. What percent of people wait longer than the mean? The answer there would be 50%. Now, 50% is not our answer. 50% would be less than what David's amount would be because more customers are waiting longer than negative 0.55 z-score. But we also have negative one. With negative one, it would be what percent of customers wait longer than a person with a z-score of negative one. And using the 68 rule, we can figure out that 34% would be between negative one and zero. So above negative one is actually 84%. And this is a really great question because it makes you realize there's only one plausible answer on the screen right now. It has to be less than 84% and it has to be greater than 50%. So the answer is 71%.